Dr. Goro Amemiya is a big fan of idol Ai Hoshino, especially because she was the favorite idol of his former patient, Serena Tenduji, who passed away at the age of 12. Goro is shocked when I secretly arrives at his small hospital, already 20 weeks pregnant with twins. However, she refuses to reveal who the father is. Ai tells Goro that as an orphan, she wants to experience the joy of raising her own family while continuing her idol career, so she plans to keep her children a secret. Goro promises to ensure Ai babies are born healthy and takes care of her throughout her pregnancy. On the day Ai is due to give birth, Goro encounters a man stalking her and is pushed off a cliff, dying at the same time Ai goes into labor. Surprisingly, Goro wakes up and finds himself reborn as Ai's son, Aquamarine, living with her and his twin sister, Ruby. Ruby is actually the reincarnation of Serena, but she keeps this a secret from Aqua. Ai manager, Ichibo Seitu, arranges for his wife, Miyako, to care for the twins while Ai resumes her idol activities. Miyako becomes anxious about being seen only as a babysitter and considers exposing Ai's secret pregnancy. To prevent this, the twins use their intelligence to trick Miyako into believing they are gods, gaining her cooperation. As time goes by, the twins gradually learn about the complexities and realities of the idol and entertainment industries. A year later, Aqua meets a film director who offers Ai a role in his movie and suggests Aqua join too. During filming, Aqua impresses child actress Kana Arima with his acting skills, causing her to develop a one-sided rivalry. Two years later, the film becomes moderately successful, boosting Ai's career. However, on the day of her big Tokyo Dome performance, the same stalker who killed Goro finds Ai and fatally stabs her before regretfully escaping. In her final moments, Ai comforts the twins, expressing her love for them and assuring them of its sincerity. The stalker later commits suicide and a memorial is held for Ai, but she is quickly forgotten by the public. The Seidu family formally adopts the twins. Ruby decides to follow in Ai's footsteps and become an idol, while Aqua realizes their biological father intentionally revealed Ai address to the stalker, leading to her death. Aqua believes his father is also involved in the entertainment industry and decides to train as an actor to seek revenge. Many years later, as the twins begin their first day of high school, Aqua sets his plan for revenge in motion. In the ten years since Ai's death, Ichigo has fallen out of contact, Ai Idol Group B Komachi was disbanded, and Miyako closed down Strawberry Productions Idol Unit to focus on internet personalities instead. Ruby meanwhile has been auditioning to become an idol, unaware that Aqua has been using his acting skills to secretly sabotage her applications and give her false rejection notices. However, he cannot stop Ruby from being scouted by an underground idol group. Not trusting the management of the underground idol group and wanting to support Ruby's wish to become an idol, Miyako decides to finally reopen Strawberry Productions' idol unit with Ruby as its first member. Meanwhile, Aqua works as director Gotama's apprentice, but has given up on trying to be an actor and is content working behind the scenes to find his father. Gotama advises Aqua not to give up on his dreams so easily, causing him to recall I last words to him. Aqua and Ruby are later admitted into the prestigious Yoda High School, which has a performing arts department. While visiting the school, the twins encounter Kana again, who is glad to see Aqua again, but is shocked that he is enrolled in the general education department instead of performing arts. Kana is eager to reconnect with Aqua, and tries to talk him into getting back into acting, offering a role in a live-action adaptation of the manga series Sweet Today. She mentions she has connections to fame producer Masaya Kabaraki, who Aqua recognizes as one of names on Ai's secret contact list he found on her personal phone. Aqua agrees to take a role as an excuse to get close to Kabaragi. Kana secures a role as the show's villain for Aqua, but he discovers the show was a very low-quality production. Kana admits the show cast young male models and prioritized their looks over their acting ability, and she has been forced to hold back her own acting talent so as not to overshadow them. She further explains, due to her spoiled behavior as a child, she quickly fell a favor in the acting industry after she grew older, and she has been slowly working her way back up. During a break in filming, Aqua manages to collect some saliva samples from Kabaragi's discarded cigarettes and overhears that Kabaragi is only taking advantage of Kana with no intention of advancing her career. Despite having gotten what he came for, Aqua decides to stay and go all out on his acting. Aqua uses his skills to set the scene up for Kana's performance by ad-libbing some of his performance, using the environment, and riling up the lead actor to make his actions look more genuine. This gives Kana the opportunity to show off her true acting skills, which earns the praise of the people still watching the show. At Sweet Today's rap party, Aqua meets Kaburahi again, now knowing he is not his father thanks to a paternity test. Kaburahi mentions that he knows about someone I have been spending time with in secret, and offers to tell Aqua who it is in return for starring in a reality-gating show. 
Some time later, Aqua and Ruby attend their first day at Yoda High School, where Ruby befriends fellow student and graver model Minami Kotobuki. She introduces Minami to Aqua, and also mentions that the famous professional entertainer Fro Shiranui is also a member of her class, who she idolizes. Aqua introduces himself to Frill as she recognizes both him and Minami from their respective works. This makes Ruby self-conscious about the fact that she does not have an established place in the entertainment industry yet. She pesters Miyako about Strawberry Productions moving forward with forming their idol group, but Miyako points out that it is not easy for a small company like theirs to recruit idols. Aqua then suggests that they recruit Kana. While reluctant to risk her acting career by becoming an idol, Kana decides to sign up with Strawberry Productions so she can work alongside Aqua. However, she is shocked that his next job is for a reality-gating show called My Love with the Star Begins Now, where he stars alongside fashion model Yuki Sumi, dancer Nobuyuki Komano, actress Akani Kurabaka, internet personality Memcho, and musician Kengo Morimoto. Even though Aqua is putting on an act for the show, Kana feels jealous at how he is interacting with his female co-stars, Meanwhile, Miyako gets to work starting up Strawberry Productions' new idol unit. She decides to have Ruby and Kana make their debut online, and enlists the help of one of their veteran internet personalities, Pian, a masked physical training YouTuber. Pian determines that the quickest way for the girls to gain a following is to collaborate with his established channel. They perform a rigorous workout dance routine for an hour straight, with Ruby earning Kana's respect after seeing her last the entire hour. Pian then asks them what their group name will be, and Ruby decides to revive the name of B. Komachi. As the season for Love now continues, Aqua comes to learn that reality show stars are less scripted and more genuine than he had initially thought. Kana teaches Ruby about the importance and dangers of ego surfing, since idols need to carefully manage their appearance and reputation online. Soon, the show begins focusing on a love triangle between Yuki, Nobuyuki, and Kengo, with Aqua deciding to stay out of it to avoid drawing attention to himself. Memcho enjoys an increase in her subscriber numbers, but Akane struggles to stand out and gain attention, leaving her with the least screen time. Under pressure from her agency to get results, Akane briefly loses her composure and slaps Yuki on film, accidentally scratching her face. While Yuki forgives Akane and Akane herself posts a formal apology, Akane becomes the target of vicious cyberbullying by Yuki's fans. After being constantly bombarded with negative comments learning how much her classmates dislike her and losing what few fans she has, Akane falls into a state of depression and nearly leaps off a pedestrian overpass to commit suicide, only being saved by a last-second intervention from Aqua. As Aqua narrowly saves Akane's life, Kana cautions Ruby that it is not uncommon for celebrities to commit suicide due to harassment. Meanwhile, Aqua and Akane are brought to the police station where the rest of the love now cast goes to meet them. Aqua advises Akane that she still has the option of dropping out of the show, but she decides to stay on, with the rest of the cast promising to support her. Angry at the show staff who edited the footage to cast Akane as a villain, Aqua concocts a plan. First, he leaks news about Akane's attempted suicide to the media in order to draw more attention to the situation. He then enlists the help of the cast members to create a video to rehabilitate Akane's image, which includes the cut footage showing Yuki forgiving Akane. The video proves to be a success, and most of the harassment against Akane dies down. Memcho and Yuki then suggest that Akane use her acting skills to adopt a persona that would appeal to Aqua's tastes. Aqua reveals his like for Ai, leading Akane to aggressively study her to emulate her behavior. At the next filming session, Akane officially returns to the show, and Aqua is shocked at how perfectly Akane is able to mimic Ai personality. Aqua is caught off guard by Akane's performance and is left to reflect on what exactly his feelings for her and I are, coming to the realization that he doesn't actually know all that much about his own mother. After having a short talk with Kana, he is able to sort out his feelings, realizing he has no particular attraction to Akane herself. However, upon learning that Akane is skilled at profiling, which allows her to mimic not just I personality, but thoughts as well, Aqua decides to manipulate her to make use of her skills. On the final episode of Love Now, he openly kisses Akane on camera, of which Kana feels jealous over. At the wrap party for the show, Aqua meets with Kaburagi, who agrees to hold up his end of the deal and arranges for a meeting next week. He then talks with Akane and admits he has no feelings for her as a girl, but greatly respects her as an actress, and they both agree to pretend dating to keep up appearances. Akane also points out that Yuki has started dating Nobuyuki for real, despite rejecting him on the show. After the party, Memcho teases Aqua about his feelings for Akane and reveals that she had originally wanted to become an idol, but gave up on that dream after several setbacks. Aqua then offers her the opportunity to join the reformed B. Komachi, which catches her off guard. 
Miyako interviews Memcho and correctly guesses that she is much older than she claims to be, with Memcho admitting she is actually 25. Memcho explains that due to her mother falling ill while she was in high school, she withdrew from idol auditions to focus on taking care of her family, but by the time all of her issues were resolved she was already past 20 years old, which is the maximum cut-off age for most idol agencies. Instead, Memcho decided to switch to streaming and unexpectedly became popular. Ruby and Kana overhear Memcho's story and accept her as part of B. Komachi. Meanwhile, the popularity of the recent season of Love Now has put Aqua in the public spotlight, with many of female classmates including Frill showing an interest in him. Memcho's popularity also brings some attention to the new B. Komachi, and she comes up with the idea of reusing the old B. Komachi songs while they wait for Miyako to produce new songs. However, Kana has difficulty keeping up with Ruby and Memcho during training, and she acts coldly towards Aqua out of jealousy due to his relationship with Akani. Aqua meets with Kaburaki again, who reveals a secret lover is likely a member of Akani's theater group, La La Li. He also shows an interest in the revived B. Komachi and offers to secure them a spot in the upcoming Japan Idol Festival. Ruby and Memcho get into a competition over which one of them will be the group's center, but they both realize they are still amateur singers, However, when they research Kana's music career, they discover that she is actually a very talented singer despite her claims to the contrary.